What's going on, y'all? I want to show you guys a little studio here. Let's take a tour. What's going on, y'all? My name is Monty, and today we are going to talk about creating a budget video creating studio and a budget lighting setup. So I know that I have a lot of gear. When we came cross country, it was my goal to bring as little gear as possible to create the same production value that I had in San Diego. So I think I'm doing an okay job at that. I can always improve, but the goal was not to purchase any equipment that I already have and be able to pack up my entire studio in less than 30 minutes. So for that first part of the video, I was intentionally poorly lit. I normally record videos in here at night, it's daytime, and as you can see while I was doing that intro, the lighting quality changed because of clouds in the sky. So now I have a light on me and I have a secondary light right here that's not on, but I'm gonna show you guys some cheap ways to create good lighting. So there's the light right there. It's on a little friction arm. And as you can see, this is where I talk to you guys from when I make my videos. So when it comes to lighting products, Professional ones are typically very expensive. There are a lot of options out there for you to light yourself well without breaking the bank. So one of the lights I really like is the Aperture AL-M9. It's a small light and it's one that I use typically in the car. I'm using it right here. It has adjustable dimming and it is a single color light. So I'm using it right now. It's lighting me off the camera. Let me show you guys what that looks like. So there's the light right there. It's on a little friction arm. And as you can see, this is where I talk to you guys from when I make my videos. This is the Litra torch underneath here. And this provides my background light. I'll show you what that looks like. So that's the light on its own, but I like to diffuse it a little bit more even though it has that diffuser bulb on it. So I just put this little cheese gloss bag over it. So now you can see I have all the lights on that I normally have on when I'm recording videos. And you can see that background was a little bit better filled in, but something else that I like to use is completely free so long as you have a tablet. So it doesn't matter if it's Mac or uh, Android, this tablet app serves as a light. So my mom actually had this on her phone, which gave me the idea to use it to produce light here in the studio. So I had a few people ask me about my setup and well, this is a easily torn down, scaled down version of what I had in San Diego. And while I'm really looking forward to building out my new office, I know that's not gonna be until we're in a actual permanent residence of sorts. So, here we are. This little desk, picked this up at Walmart. This was like uh, 20 bucks. Folds up and the legs collapse. This stand, picked this up on Amazon. It was cheap. And of course the all important backup, that's just for the uh, solid state drive that's inside my MacBook. That's the drive I use for my cash, Samsung solid state. My headphones of choice, these are the HD6 mixes by Sennheiser and I like them a lot. They're a little power hungry, so I use my little Oppo headphone amp slash DAC. There's a hub that I picked up because as you guys know, the new MacBook Pro only has four Thunderbolt 3 ports. This also charges my phone wirelessly. And this is how the TV is connected to my computer. So this is my Drobo. This is what all of my files are kept on. Similar to a RAID, they call it a Beyond RAID, but it's an array of disks still. And 
that's about 60 terabytes. When I'm not using my iPad as a light, I use it as a second or third screen and I'll put my notes and stuff over here or if I'm working on dragging stuff into my timeline, I'll have my folders over here for easy access as opposed to having to look up at that screen. While I'm pointing up at this screen, so I really like sticky notes. They help me stay organized and on task. So as I complete them, I tear them off, but these are what I'm working on right now. Of course, uh, didn't buy that TV that came with the place, but it's just connected to my MacBook using an HDMI cable. So if you want to expand some screen real estate and you have an extra monitor or a screen or a TV laying around the house, you can do something like that. I like it for screening the videos and watching uh, YouTube videos while I'm up here working. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my studio. And if you did, please make sure to leave a comment and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you guys next video. Y'all still here? I'll see y'all next video.